Fulani bandits, leader allegedly killed by ESN, not our member. We are not bothered, Maetiela replies, IPOB. Hello, my wonderful people, Maetiela. These are the cattle breeder association that are not saying the truth. You know, when something is going on and you are becoming a target, what do you do? You do everything humanly possible to ensure that you remedy the situation. One of such things is, you know, pointing out the criminals among you, those who are spoiling your name. But apparently it seems that they're on the same page with the rampage of killing, you know, destruction of lands and property and trying to take, acquire land that does not belong to them by force on other people's soil. Anyway... They are trying to say to IPOB or ESN, the Eastern Security Network, that uh, whatever you did is not a concern because the, the leader, the alleged leader you said you killed is not one of us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Thank you so much. The Secretary General of the Maitiala, Halaji Hassan, has said his organization has no connection with a suspected leader of the gang of Fulani bandits mohammed isiak allegedly killed by the eastern security network after he was captured in benway state hassan threw undermined about the arrest and murder of I I mohammed isiak said to be the notorious fulani warlord as revealed by indigenous people of biafra he however questioned the authority of the group to carry out such an act he told Sahar reporters on Friday while responding to the statement by the IPOB that Isiak Mohammed has been handed over to his ancestors. The IPOB spokesman has said on Thursday that we have made it open before now that we don't spare terrorists. Isiak Mohammed was captured by ESN Northern Commander and handed over to God. We handed him over to God to meet his ancestor. It is our ancestors. It is for our ancestors to resolve that issue, that any Fulani terrorist masquerading himself as headsmen in our, in our land, if caught, we send them to God. Chineke, that is it. ESN had no power to judge terrorists. Only God has the power to do so. Therefore, we advise them to leave our land, forest and farmlands. We advise them to leave Fulani headsmen alone. Reacting, Hassan said, how can you ask me about a bandit? Are you really bandit? No. If they say they killed our member, we won't talk no matter the provocation they give. But if they claim to have killed a bandit, then the matter should be with the police. Hassan, in his response, reiterated that the Fulani Cattle Headers Association and his organization are not criminals. Therefore, we would not consign, we, were, we are not consigned with whether the punishment or the major, the, cram, the criminal has been dealt with. He challenged the IPOB to release the cuffs of the leader of the bandits to the police to know if they truly have killed him. He also condemned lawlessness in the country, adding that it will be jeopardy, uh, jeopardizing the peace of the law-abiding citizens. I don't know. We keep our... Uh, we keep on saying, consequently, that bandits are criminal elements. They are members of our organization, so they are, not, they are not criminals. Although there are some people who are masquerading themselves as criminals, those should be handed over to the police. But even, even to think that IPOB or ESN has killed somebody, neither bandits or, whether bandits or not bandits, they are lawless, and security agencies should be after them. Who are they to have killed a Fulani headsman, Yahu Yahu, internet froster boy, or anybody at that matter, they cannot do that. We must not encourage lawlessness because if we encourage lawlessness, I am telling you, this country is gone. See, every tribe is trying to raise their bar, saying that the Fulanis are the problem of the country, giving stories here and there. If they kill them, they are keeping and they are keeping the cops. They should give the cops, at least to the police now, for them to be able to tag and to know really if he was a bandit. You see, all these things, lawlessness that is going on in this country, is not good for the country or the name of the country. I am telling you, I pity those people promoting the kind of statement. Because at the end of the day, if there is any crisis, you think anybody will benefit? 
we we have ibos in our own nook and crannies of this town so it's not good we are trying to promote lawlessness and cause chaos and war you see we need to keep harmony and peace and work together with people i think this is politics and it's not our business if the ipob kill themselves or kill anybody or take laws into their hands so this is the indigenous people of uh this is the mighty allah replying the indigenous people of biafra saying that uh they don't care if they say any fulani uh warlord has been killed in uh, in Bur in Burnley stage remember we brought you that news that uh, a group of um, uh, headers who have been terrorizing the place have been caught by the ESN and has been dealt with with the full route of the law you know mighty Allah is now replying responding saying he's not sure those people are bandits that um, and again they feel that the ESN has no no capacity to take laws into their hands. I I understand what you're saying, but I I feel baffled every time they are talking about law-abiding citizens when you are the very one breaking the very law. So I'm 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 really confused. You're talking about abiding by the law, not taking laws into your hand, which is good, which is the normal thing that should be, but. When you are now the one, when your association is roped in and tied in with this crime and none of you are trying in any way, you know, to stop it, how do we explain it? Yes, how do we explain it? Because, I mean, it's, it's getting out of hand. It's really getting out of hand. What is happening in this country should not be thoroughly in any way, form or kind. If we all keep quiet and allow this people to continue in their track, look at what Buhari is doing. Look at what Buhari is doing. Keeping quiet and allowing this people to, to carry on. In fact, once you anything happens, it's the first person to want to defend them straight away. First person to want to defend them straight away. And leave them, blah, 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 blah. And nothing is being done. We all need to rise up and say no, because this evil has gone on for far too long. It is not acceptable in any way, form, or kind. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. How can you let people live in a situation or in a, in a society where there are no, there is no protection? What kind of country is this? Anyway, guys, what do you think? Please leave us a comment. Don't forget to please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.